Dear colleague, welcome to this introduction to the theoretical courses. The material has been divided into three separate courses, which should be taken in order of appearance. DBS implantation, DBS implantation variations, replacements and revisions, and finally, avoiding and managing surgical complications. The first course is also the most extensive, consisting of a total of 10 lectures, half of which are video lectures. There are many ways in which you can perform a DBS procedure, and this is discussed in the lecture Surgery Logistics. The intraoperative evaluations will have a pronounced influence on how you choose to organize the procedure, and this is dealt with in detail in the course Intraoperative Evaluations and will not be repeated in detail in the surgical courses. The default mode in the surgical courses is surgery based on visual anatomical targeting with the Lexell framed in general anesthesia with one single electrode track with open dura for a very short time and without intraoperative microelectrode recording or stimulation. Other options will be dealt with in the next course. In the following six lectures we will deal with the preparations before the actual implantation. The most important lecture in this course is naturally implanting the electrode, where we will in detail discuss the different steps of the procedure and how these can be managed in a simple and safe manner. In the same manner, we will continue with the implantation of the IPG and of the connection cables. You can, of course, not learn everything from the internet. You will need clinical training as well. Concerning the hands-on training, you will learn much faster if you don't have to learn all the practical details in the operation room. Try to get a complete set of discarded explanted implants and the equipment provided with these, and then practice assembling the frame, mounting the frame, prepare the arc and mount it on the frame as described, measuring the electrode and applying the stop, and applying the electrode holder and then locking the electrode, as described in the lectures. In the next course, we will look at alternative ways of performing the procedure. There are many stereotactic frames, but most are only of historical interest. Chris Honey will present the CRW frame, and Joseph Neymat two frameless options. The most common way to introduce the DBS electrode is by using a cannula, which is the topic of the next lecture by Hiroki Toda. Different ways of anchoring the electrode is discussed in detail by Ander Fidogoridis and Terry Coyne. Awake surgery, implantation of several ipsilateral electrodes, stage procedures and revisions will also be discussed, as well as IPG replacements. In the final course, we will discuss how to avoid and manage surgical complications. We will look at infections and erosions, hemorrhages, intraparenchymal cysts, electrode breakage, twiddler syndrome, straining connection cables, external influences, and general contraindications to DBS. And with this, I end this introduction to the surgical courses. Thank you.